Hi, my name is Livy Eisler, and this is for my post project. I decided to do sexuality in childhood. So to start off, parents talking to children about sex um, is most commonly referred to as the birds and the bees talk. Um, approach a child at an appropriate age where they are old enough to be knowledgeable and retain the information. Um, make sure your child is comfortable and you guys have a safe space to talk. This is very important. Um, use correct terms and language. Um, you don't want to use bad words or make light of the situation. It is a serious situation, but you should be able to use the correct terminology. Um, do not set forced rules about sex. This can make sex seem like a bad thing or something that is not allowed. Um, share safe and responsible ways to have sex. Um, do not overwhelm the child with all of the sex information at once. It should be an, should be an ongoing um, conversation. Once they get older, tell them more or depends on how much they want to learn. Um, encourage the child to be open about sex and ask questions. You guys should have a comfortable environment where the child feels comfortable enough to come to you um, about their questions about sex and respect the child's privacy. Um, what type of sexual acts is increasing in adolescence? And it is sexting. Sexual behaviors. So masturbation actually starts way earlier than one would expect. One would expect that it starts like in adolescence, um, but it actually starts around two, three. Two, three masturbations begins. Um, four to seven, sex play begins. Five to seven, marriage script enhancement begins. Um, Nine to eight, girls and boys play separately. 11 to 10, or 10 to 11, interest in bodily changes. So the older um, children get, the more common um, sexual acts are, and more you can see them. While being young, like toddlers, parents can't really tell that they are having these sexual acts, but they can tell when it's um, touching or rubbing their genitals up against something or looking at someone else's. There are some extreme um, behaviors of this, but that is like you can tell very easily and that is has different behavioral concerns which can raise some red flags. Um, but masturbation is important to oneself and especially for adolescents to get to know themselves, to be knowledgeable about themselves and to be comfortable. So puberty, puberty usually starts around 8 to 14. Um, for girls, it can start earlier. This is a stage in life um, that has rapid physical growth, um, psychological changes, and sexual changes. During puberty, boys and girls both experience an increase in hormones. These hormonal experiences can have a negative effect in some adolescents. For example, some girls with high estrogen estrogen levels that may experience depression and a high level of androgens in early maturing girls may lead to an increase in sexual arousal. So that is why it is important to reach out to your children at appropriate age because some girls they can start having sexual experiences or sexual arousal at the age of eight. So um, what does the double standard affect more men or women? It does affect women more. So pregnancy contraceptives, um, this there's many different kinds of contraceptives. There is um, birth control, IUD, birth control shot, birth control implant, um, condoms. And um, birth control is a good method to prevent pregnancy, but it can come with some side effects. And it is, the list is intimidating. So that's why it is very important to get um, educated on contraceptives. Um, having a lack of education can lead to teen pregnancy. Having a child and being pregnant at a young age is absolutely life-changing. It changes your body, and teens can have a higher risk of uh, chance of complications. Um, the quality of parenting also can come into a factor. If you are a teen, you are still a child, and then you will have to be raising a child. And most times, the grandparents will have to step in and help out. To reduce teen pregnancy, there needs to be more education on this topic. How to use contraceptives the right way. Um, have condoms available for teens. And have parents have more open discussions with their children. So sex education, sex education is very important for children to learn, not only from their parents, but from the school also. Sex education not only covers safe sex, but it also covers STIs, what STIs are, and the effects of them and how to prevent them, um, what happens to your body when going through puberty, um, what happens to boys and girls each, um, how to prevent pregnancy and how to have a safe pregnancy. Not giving adolescents this information causes more harm than it does good. Um, no matter what way sex is taught or is not taught, adolescents will still continue to have sex and sexual acts. Um, educating them on sex actually decreases the um, risky sexual behavior. 
I've personally been through um, the sex education system and they do not pro provide the most educational, um, valuable information. Most adolescents are very uncomfortable with themselves. They are very worried about what other people think of them. So it can be a very toxic environment and you don't get the real information that you need to be um, a teen to and like gauge in sexual activity um they should be comfortable with asking questions this is an issue and that should not be an issue and talking about sex should not be something that one should be ashamed of um it is very important to work on the sex education system and how to make it more comfortable for every person who's going through it um so what is non-coital sex expression this is kissing touching holding manual or oral simulation of the genital and this is my poster board thank you